Hello and welcome to the Online Level Tutor YouTube page. Today we will talk about taxation, the types of taxation, the LAFA curve, and the consequences of taxation. Taxes may be divided into two types, direct and indirect taxation. Direct taxes are those levied on income and wealth and the tax burden cannot be passed on to anyone else. Indirect taxes are levied on expenditure. The main direct taxes are income tax, corporation tax and capital gains tar, whilst indirect taxes include VAT, tariffs and duties. There are three broad categories of taxes. Progressive tax is one in which the proportion of income paid in tax rises as incomes increase. Proportional tax is one in which the proportion of income paid in tax remains constant as incomes increase. Regressive tax is one in which the proportion of income paid in tax falls as incomes increase. Next I will talk about analyzing the effect of taxation. When analyzing the effect of taxation, the following synoptic issues should be considered. An increase in taxes represents a leakage from the circular flow and so we would have a downward multiplier effect on AD hence cause real GDP to fall. An increase in indirect tax on a product would cause a leftward shift in the supply curve. The incidence of tax on the consumer depends on the price elasticity of demand. Indirect taxes would increase prices above marginal cost, so resulting in a locative inefficiency unless external costs are associated with the production of the product. Indirect taxes might be applied to products that cause external costs. An increase in indirect tax could cause inflation via wage price spiral. For example if VAT rises then the value of goods become more expensive hence workers will demand a larger salary which in turn increases costs of production and so on and so forth. The effect of an increase in income tax. If income tax rates are changed there will be a variety of effects in an economy. Given the increase in fiscal deficit and national debt of many countries, it seems likely that taxes will be raised. For example, in the UK, there has been an extra tax ban of 50% from April 2010. Higher income tax rates could have the following effects. For example on income distribution, the tax system is more progressive, making income distribution more equitable. There may also be an effect on incentives to work. An increase in tax rates might have significant disincentive effects. For example, if the basic rate of income tax were raised, there would be fewer incentives for the unemployed to go back to work. If the higher rate of tax increased, they may be less willing to do overtime as they have to pay more tax. There may also be an effect on tax revenue. Some economists consider that if tax rates are increased too much, tax revenue may fall because the disincentives to work are so great. Also if the tax rates for higher earners increase, they are more likely to avoid taxes or even evade them. The Luffer curve, below, illustrates how an increase in tax may lead to a reduction in tax revenue. Lastly there could be an effect on the level of economic activity. An increase in income tax rates would cause a fall in disposable income. In turn, there is a reduction in consumption, which accounts to 60% of AD, hence AD shifts and hence real GDP falls. Next I will talk about the effect of an increase in indirect tax. It is also possible that governments will try to reduce their fiscal deficit by raising indirect taxes. An increase in VAT, for example could cause the following. Income distribution, research suggests that the impact of VAT is broadly regressive, so an increase in VAT would cause income distributing to become less even. Incentives to work Indirect taxes have less obvious impact on incentives to work than direct taxes. However it is possible that, that an increase in indirect taxes would encourage people to work harder so that they can maintain their standard of living. Tax revenue Raising indirect taxes would increase tax revenue to the government as long as demand for the products and services affected are price inelastic. The rate of inflation, an increase in VAT will raise the price of most goods and services. If workers and trade unions respond by demanding wage increases to compensate for price rises, then an inflationary wage price spiral could result. The level of economic activity, a rise in VAT would act as a leakage from the circular flow of income. The real income of consumers would fall, so causing a fall in AD. Also for businesses, 
costs of production will raise hence causes to shit in. Thank you for watching this video. I know I sound like a spastic in these videos. If you wish to learn more, please subscribe favorite and share this video. Your sincerely, the online level tutor.